Hello, today we are going to try out this PAM Original Canola Oil Blend. So the purpose of PAM is to stop things from sticking to your pans. So you know how like you cook eggs and if it's not a non-stick pan then it gets all yucky and then sometimes you don't want to use a non-stick pan. So PAM is a good tool to help you be able to cook without having a big mess. And notice that it says here, it gives you some nutrition information, which many people would like to see, amount of fat and it's all zero, so everything looks good there. And then here we see also, I don't know how they have oil with no calories, but somehow with modern food technology, this is where we're at. <laughs> Maybe it's because of the serving size. Yes, I'm sure it's the serving size. <laughs> a fourth of a second spray is a serving size. So I, I'm not really sure that I can be able to time myself to do it that quickly, but you get the idea that this is, you know, a very light coating of oil. It's not like if you were to rub butter on your pan, you know that the more butter, the better. So it's a little hard to, to watch the calories there. So what we're gonna do, shake it up. Look where your nozzle is. I'm gonna spray the pan. There we go. We have Pam on the pan. Nice. One thing I am going to do just because of the angle of my pan is I'm going to make sure that I've got those edges because you know how it is sometimes with eggs, right? So I'm heating up the pan currently. It actually doesn't feel too bad. So I'm going to go ahead and break an egg in there and we'll see um, if it's ready. Mm, yeah, there we go. The egg's turning white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook a few eggs in here and I'll go ahead while I'm talking and put the other so we get some even cooking. And then you'll be able to see when I'm done. Oh yeah, look at that. Pan's heating up nicely. Wow. And this is a nice pan. The reason I like to use this pan is because it's got a really heavy bottom and it is non-stick, but like not really. Oh, I got some shell in there. Cooking faux pas. I'm gonna need a spoon. It even has a picture of the egg in the on the can. <laughs> it does, right? <laughs> it's it's pretty cool. And you can see as I'm trying to get the the eggshell I dropped in there out that it's not stiff. Like, see how easy that was for me to move. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat down a little on this. Wow. Yeah, look at that. It's frying them right up. This oven is ridiculous. <laughs> it is. <laughs> and you can see already, see the edges? How they're not you got a little stick there but watch how it comes off just like that so it's pretty nice right so normally i would cook this with a lid it doesn't look like i have a lid because i like to cover and then just let my eggs cook um nicely sunny side up there when you grab a spatula we're just going to separate the eggs a bit See how easy that is, right? All because of Pam. <laughs> Thank you, Pam. And I wonder where they got the name. I always think it reminds me of like, you know, Aunt Pam and her, her good cooking skills or something. So I'm gonna see if I can just flip this one. And we'll let that cook. Pretty good. Yeah, it is pretty good. Like imagine using this pan without oh. some kind of, I, I would never be able to do that. No, the eggs and would fall apart. you'll notice too, like, I mean, there's a little bit of residue here, but when we go to wash it, it's just going to come straight off. Mm, you, see how, yeah. you see how it's just lifting straight off. That's nice. Right, so, and one tip that some people don't know is when you have egg and you're trying to clean up, use cold water with no soap first. And that's a really easy way to remove egg yolk off of, looks like, looks like I broke a yolk there, bad me. So here we are, right? We're almost done. Let me grab a plate. I, I like my eggs to still have some runny yolk. This one's broken, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that one. There we go, there's an egg. And again, you see there's a little residue, but look how that comes off, just like that. Again, little residue just comes off. You can add it to your pan. And with this one, that one's almost perfect. I had one out of four. <laughs> I don't know if that's a passing grade in the French cooking school. Probably not. So here we go. See, look at that. I'm, let me turn off the heat. We don't need. Smells it. good. But you see, look what's left behind. Almost nothing, right? 
And then if you run that under cold water, it's completely almost nothing. Without Pam, and let me just put it here so you can see the bottle again. Without this, we would have had a mess here. Probably would have taken a lot of scrubbing to get that off. So this also works. This is just one example with eggs. It can work with anything that's sticky. Sometimes, you know, it's really common nowadays that we have some lean meats that we cook. Uh, used to be we'd maybe put them in the pan and, and the fat would start to show, but the meats are very lean nowadays. And so sometimes you just need a little something on there to get that nice crispness on the steak or the hamburger or even your um, veggie burger or whatever it is that you're making. So Pam is a really good option for that. Also, it's great for pancakes. Um, if you're baking and you need something on your cookie sheet, it's really good. So it has a lot of uses in the kitchen. And if you don't like a lot of scrubbing and uh, getting your gym workout in the kitchen by cleaning dishes, then I would highly recommend something like Pam because it'll make your cleanup so much faster and easier. Good luck.